Bikini Bottom News. The SpongeBob universe is about to get even bigger. Get ready for three new character-driven movies exclusively for Paramount Plus and a new theatrical movie. <laughs> I know I haven't been too positive about the recent developments in the Spongebob universe. I'd imagine this would be something of like a golden age for the modern fan to take the core show, two reboots, four movies coming out alongside video games and whatever else they're building up. But let's break down this tweet a little bit. We have two parts to it. In tackling the latter part first, a theatrical movie, as we know, there are three theatrical movies. One that was released in 2004, one in 2015, and one in 2020. I gotta put a little asterisk there because although the first two were a theatrical release, the third was intended to be one as well. But we all know how 2020 went down. Sponge on a Run had a budget of 60 million and took home less than 5 million at the box office as they were would release it on Paramount Plus or Netflix depending on where you live. Now according to a few sources, the movie is in development and there isn't a soft date announced that Paramount and Nickelodeon Animation are shooting for, but given that this tweet is meant to drum up interest, some, including myself, would say that this is rather soon. Sponge on the Run and the two new spin-off shows all came out in 2021, and regardless of how you feel about Camp Coral or the Patrick Star Show, these shows haven't even gotten their footing yet. The former has 13 episodes and the latter has 11 episodes, even if you were to combine them together, that's still less episodes than the last three seasons of Spongebob. We haven't even established a strong identity with those shows. They're all still the same show. I know that the team can do amazing things because the first and second movie were great, but if the team in Nickelodeon were willing to plug Camp Coral for a third of Sponge on the Run, imagine what they would do with this fourth one. Like, I have no idea of how they would approach it. As much as I didn't like what they did in Sponge on the Run, the movie was still received mixed to positively, so they very much could do it again, even more blatantly. I hope to look back on this video and say, Jay, you were so off, you were so wrong, the movie was amazing, but when looking at Camp Coral and the Patrick Star Show and Sponge on the Run, I'm a little skeptical. Now looking at the three character driven movies, this shouldn't be news to super fans as in May 2021, it was announced that a Sandy Cheeks feature film was set. It was set for streaming, so we could be reasonably assured that one of these has to do with Sandy. It's described as quote, a hybrid feature that will put the animated title character into a live action setting. Now this can mean anything, as even the first movie was in a hybrid live action setting. So I'll wait for a trailer, just like everything else here. Mind you, we also have a Squidward musical project to come out and I'm fairly certain it's not one of the three movies, but that's just speculation on my end. As we've known with Nickelodeon's long-standing success, the kids and family audience is incredibly loyal, and we see that on Paramount Plus as well. With kids and family ranking as one of the strongest genres on the service in terms of both engagement and subscriber acquisition. Brian Robbins, Paramount Plus Chief Content Officer for Kids and Family said in a statement as part of the Streamers Investors Day presentation, so as they stay for our shows and look for even more of them, we're doubling down on giving them what they want by expanding the universes of the characters they love the best. I think this is the core of my stance with Spongebob lately. Paramount Plus is doing great. They've quadrupled their subscriber numbers since 2019, of which 7.3 million people subscribed by the end of 2021, giving them somewhere in the ballpark figure of a total of 32.8 million. And when you combine their advertising on said streaming services, we're looking at like 1.32 billion just in revenue. However, let's bring things back to reality. Paramount Plus also houses CBS. Yes, BET, Comedy Central, MTV, had NFL games as well as a T-Mobile year of free Paramount Plus campaign. And I would highly doubt that a significant portion came from Spongebob, much less Camp Coral or the Patrick Star Show. Not only that, but in the grand scheme of streaming services, they're blown out of the water by HBO Max, Disney Plus, Amazon Prime, and Netflix, boasting 73.8 million, 130 million, 200 million, and 221.8 million. And Paramount knows that, implying in a few articles that they actually may sell some of their movies to the highest bidder, which may not be Paramount Plus, but something like Netflix, like with the Sponge on a Run movie. I need your signature on these taxes, decrees, this here declaration of war, and my paycheck. Is that right? Yeah. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> now, as a fan, hear me out. Any YouTuber that gets a regular amount of viewers knows this well. You have your core audience, the super fans, and then the casual audience, people who like what you do, but curate what they watch to what they are interested in. Your super fans are gonna watch most, if not all, of what you do. So I understand this when in this community, a lot of fans of SpongeBob have no problem watching the movies and the spinoffs and the core shows 
rules in keeping within the universe, even if it is fragmented between live TV, Paramount+, Plus, Netflix, sometimes even Hulu, and wherever else it is. But if you're a casual fan, there is no way amongst everything else in animation and everything else in entertainment that you could possibly care to watch this all. It's overkill. And honestly, I don't believe that they knocked it out of the park with Cam Coral or the Patrick Star show. I know it's only been a year, but I'm sure if these shows didn't exist, the fan base would be unfazed. And that's because I wouldn't be surprised if like 90 to 95% of the people who watch those spinoffs are just people diluted from the core show. And the reason this is an issue is because for this universe to be a universe, you need new people. You need new ideas. You need new approaches. Cam Coral is just the same show. Patrick Star Show is just the same show. Beyond your love for Spongebob, if you agree with that, what is your incentive to see this? What is your incentive to see any of this stuff beyond the popularity of the core show? Beyond what the core show has already earned in your loyalty? Now I say all of this, but I do believe that the movies are going to do just fine if not good, but when so many of the core staff are being spread apart on these projects, you can only be so creative. Much less so when Nickelodeon isn't even willing to explore further ideas in what they've shown us already. Be gone! <laughs> if you like all of this, again, you're in a golden period of Spongebob, and I wish I could be along for the ride and just enjoy this all, but for me, and probably a few other people, this is just more dilution on top of the regular neglect from other Nickelodeon shows as well, except for maybe The Loud House. Mind you, in that same article that I'm sourcing, they mention a TMNT and Transformer movie, which are already proven brands. Where is It's Pony? Where is Minimal's Post? Where is the Casa Grandes? Where is Ollie's Pack? Where's the Wonder Park cartoon that was supposed to be out? I know I said a lot, but honestly, I don't know what to say when they announce more and more stuff in such a short period of time. I'm hoping that it'll be good, but if it's not, I don't think it matters. There'll be more movies, more spinoffs, more specials, because they're operating under this logic where if you were to put out, for example, 18 things and four of them are garbage, but two of them actually are smash hits, then they consider the entire venture a success. And when we're talking about a show that was so tightly ran up to that point of a few years ago, pardon the pun, it's just a culture shock is all. But let me know what you think in the comments down below. Check out these Spongebob videos on the side. And until next time, take care. I